Hi, it's Pamela. In this tutorial, we're going to go over how to create a Hanukkah greeting in Doodly. Hey, and welcome to the official Doodly YouTube channel. If you enjoy our content, please click the like and subscribe button below. Now let's get straight to the video. Hanukkah is a Jewish holiday that honors the victory of the Maccabees over the Syrian Greeks who had occupied Israel. It is said that there was enough oil to light the Holy Temple's lamp for one night. But miraculously, the oil lasted for eight days. Thus, Hanukkah is celebrated for eight days, based on the lunar calendar. This year it begins at sundown on Sunday, November 28th, and lasts through December 6th. Each night, a candle of the menorah is lit. Today, we're going to celebrate the victory of light over darkness with a Hanukkah greeting for our Jewish friends using doodly. Now, you'll see I, I have a very ugly creation here, but it's the basis of something that should be quite beautiful. I'm thinking what we'll start with is a dark background to signify the darkness. And we'll have a menorah and then have the hand come in and light each of the candles. And then at the end, we're going to have the darkness fade away into light. And I have some ideas how to do this, which I've already kind of put together. And we will go from there. Today, I decided to work with some of my own graphics. I found this line drawing of a menorah on a third party site, royalty free and licensed, whatnot. I have the license to it. And then I brought it into Pixelmator Pro and did some painting in of the menorah itself, the candles, and then the individual flames. So what I want to have happen is have the hand draw the menorah line drawing and then have the color come in of the menorah and the candles just we'll have those fade in it'll be real pretty and then i will have the hand draw in the color of the flames individually one at a time and you'll notice it's on this gray grayish background well then finally once that last candle is lit i want it to fade to white and be bright and happy and then i'll put my you know happy hanukkah from the dimmick family or whatever so let's go ahead and get started from scratch, okay? Go back to my videos. Create new video. I want a square video. So I'm going with Facebook and Instagram, which makes it square. And then we're gonna just call it Hanukkah. Remember, I wanted a dark background. So let's go to settings. Click the gear icon, custom color. Click the little color swatch and choose the color that you'd like. This is the one I had, which is this kind of charcoal gray. And that's fine. While we're at it, we could choose a hand style that we like. I kind of like the sweater hand for this one, so that should be fine. Although I am going to narrate it and it's going to be a female voice. So maybe I should find a female hand. That one could work. Click apply. Oh, wait, we're not done yet smart mode off because I don't want it erasing because I'm going to be doing some things in between everything. So you'll see we have this nice colored background and it's in the square shape and now we need to add our menorahs. I had already created these graphics as I showed you earlier and they all start with the word menorah so I'm going to start typing it in and here they are. We're going to start with the line drawings and the colored unit. So let's bring those both in. And at this point, we could resize them. I don't think I'm ready to resize them just yet. I just want to line them up a little bit. You look at, you click the gear icon and then um, look at the numbers. So 151 by 64 for this one. And then Let's change that 151. Oopsie. 151 by 64 on that. So now they're lined up perfectly and we can group them and then move them together. And what we're gonna wanna have happen is this is gonna draw on and we'll do the drawing paths in a minute. And then this one's gonna fade on. So let's go ahead and click the pencil icon Go ahead and change that to fade, save and return. 
if we do a little preview, we get a kind of a hint here what's going to happen. So the hand draws this on. Like I say, we'll do the pats in a minute. And then that's going to fade on. And then we're going to draw on these flames. And then the one with the all white background, which we'll go ahead and bring in now, will come on and replace all of that. And it's going to fade on. And again, let's click the little pencil icon. Click fade, save and return. Let's just put it behind here for the moment. And now we can use our eyes to kind of get it lined up. I think that's gonna be pretty good. And then we can resize all of these in just a moment. Let's put this back here. So what we need to do is select all of these. They're all lined up perfectly. So we want to resize them together. So let's move it up into the corner here and then let's resize it. So it fills the screen. We don't want any of that gray showing. And I think that looks really nice. And for now, we want to hide this finished one. So I'm gonna click the gear icon and I'm gonna turn this opacity to zero. I'm just gonna hide it temporarily. Now we can work with our flames. So I have them named slice one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, so you have nine candles in the menorah. And we'll want to place them in the appropriate spot. And these don't have to be perfect. You know, they want, we want them to look like, you know, flames. They're kind of semi-transparent. If we did want them to be perfect, we would put on that final image and line them up to that. But I think by bringing in that second image, it kind of adds some movement to the flame with them not being perfect. So that's kind of my thinking there. We'll see, you know, maybe we are gonna want them to line up a little bit better, but I just think it might look nice. And in my final image, these flames are behind the drawing. So that might be part of our problem. Okay, so we have our layout fairly well. Now let's go ahead and do the drawing paths because I think this will look nice. It's a special occasion, so we want to take some extra care to make it really neat. So click it, click the pencil icon, and begin drawing your drawing paths. So I'm going to go ahead and do this in fast forward so that it doesn't take a, a ton of your time. Okay, so we have that done. Okay, so now it's time to do some fine tuning. The first thing I would do is I'm going to turn these flames down to one second each. And even that might be a little too long because there are nine of them. So that's a full nine seconds of drawing. Which I don't know that we want to spend that much time. We will see though can always shorten them. And then the next thing I want to do is I want to take this final image. Remember, this one has the white background. That's going to be our very last thing. And if we recall, we had turned the opacity down to zero temporarily so we could work with this stuff. And I think now it's fine to turn it back on. And I think half a second for all of these. Now, I understand that they light them from right to left. And right now I have them going from left to right. So we can change that. It's a bit of fiddling. So let's take this bottom one and move it. So it's the top. And then this one needs to be in the second position. This one needs to be in the third position. And we need my voiceover and the happy Hanukkah message in text. So let's go ahead and do the voiceover real quick. Go down to the microphone, click the little plus sign. When I'm ready, I'm gonna click this red button and read my message. Happy Hanukkah. As we celebrate the victory of light over darkness, may the warmth of the season bring happiness to your heart. Good wishes from the Dimmick family. 
Okay, so I have my voiceover and I'm just gonna shrink that ending down and shrink the beginning down. And I think I can move that down just a bit. I don't need to start talking right away. And then at the very end, we need to add a few seconds at the end. Let's just do five seconds. And then let's add the graphic. I think that might be balanced a little bit better. And of course we can add some music. I don't think I have any Hanukkah music. I'm going to just shrink this down a bit to make it fit into our little greeting. And then we want to right click, we have a fade out. And then we stretch this triangle to stretch the duration of the fade out. So let's go ahead and click on this speaker icon and let's turn it down to like 14%, maybe even less. And one last look. Happy Hanukkah! As we celebrate the victory of light over darkness, may the warmth of the season bring happiness to your heart. Good wishes from the Dimmick family. And that's the basics of creating a Hanukkah greeting in Deadly. Thanks for watching.